While the World Cup soccer tournament dominates sports interest around the globe right now, another event is in its early stages, the third stage to be exact. That was completed earlier today at the Tour de France. And while this bike race may not have grabbed your attention yet, for one lady in McKinney, it is must-see TV. Yeah, that's Chad. In McKinney, Delane Haga keeping an eye on her 29-year-old son, Chad. The McKinney High and Texas A&M grad is racing in his first Tour de France. It's uh, quite an experience. It's amazing that my son has made it this far. Chad's been a pro cyclist since 2011. He's raced in some of the biggest events in Europe. But this year, racing for the Sunweb team, he got the call to the biggest race of them all. My younger son makes fun of me because when he was here watching with me, I'd always be looking for Chad. He said, yes, that's Chad. No, that's not Chad. <laughs> I look for Chad. I don't care about the race as much as I care about seeing my son. The ride to the tour has been far from easy for Chad. In January of 2016, a terrible accident. During a training ride in Europe, he was hit by a car which was driving in the wrong lane. We were told that um, his injury wasn't serious, but we learned later it was. For Chad, a fractured eye socket, nerve damage in his face and neck, but no broken bones, no brain damage. I realized I very easily could have died. I'm here. I'm alive somehow. He is a living miracle. Two weeks later, he was on the bike, uh, cycling again, just, you know, practicing. And then two months later, he was racing. That was early in 2016. Later that year, in June, Chad's father, Chris, a non-smoker, died after a six-year battle with lung cancer. Delane remembers an exchange between father and son as Chad was ready to settle into an engineering position after leaving A&M. He actually had a job lined up where he had done an internship, and he called his dad one day and told him that some semi-professional teams were interested in him. That was kind of the end of the conversation, and his dad thought, there was something he wanted to say. So he called Chad the next day and told him to pursue his dreams. Um, he had stage four lung cancer and would never and he would never see his dream of retirement. And so he said he told Chad to pursue his dreams while he could. For Chad, his father's advice helped him build a career as a pro cyclist, but it did so much more than that. It strengthened his faith even more. He actually he has a tattoo, which I don't approve of, but I approve of what it says. It says, eternity gained, only life remains. It's an imperfect font because as humans, we are imperfect. But he is assured of his salvation. He knows where he'll spend eternity. The rest is just living life to the fullest. Chad, as we said, is a support writer for Team Sunweb. They were fifth in today's stage at the tour. As for Delane Haga, she has written a book about helping her husband during his cancer fight. It focuses on the faith that they shared and that kept them strong. It's called His Love Carries Me, available now on Amazon and in bookstores soon. I'm Mike Ducey, Fox 4 Sports.